everybody, and welcome to Talkie Tuesday. It's been a busy couple of weeks for me, which is good, because I needed the time and the money, so that's all fine, but I am definitely just wiped out. I have appointments for me going on this week, on top of the appointments with everybody else this week, so busy, busy Sammy. I wanted to talk to you guys today about something that happened to me. One thing that I like to do, I love to color, and I always have. I was like still coloring and coloring books before that was all cool. At our local library, they do an adult coloring group on Tuesday mornings, and one of my clients absolutely loves to do that so that's what we do and today was pretty much like any other day that we go in and we sit with the other ladies and we color and we chat sometimes we look at the free books what was a little different today is that this kid came in sat at the very back table in the library proceeded to pull his head over his head and fell asleep being the nerd that I am I have read the rules of the library and sleeping is a no-no he was there for quite a while though before anybody said anything and when they finally did wake him up he was kind of rude kind of nice if that makes any sense once the staff members left the table though things got a little different we were about a table or so away and he was talking i thought he was talking on the phone and i just happened to glance over and i could hear him say something about us the other three ladies that are in the group with us are three very nice older ladies he kept making comments about ladies or something my client looked over at him rolled her eyes and he proceeded to call her a whale sorry but that doesn't fly with me i sat there for a moment deliberating on if i should go over myself and say something to him or if i should just go to the desk and just calmly tell them what's going on. While I was making this decision, he said something pretty rude about one of the older women at the table, and that pretty much nailed it for me. I knew what kind of person I was dealing with, so I just went right up to the front. I hate to be that person. I hate to be the tattletale, but in this situation, he is bullying people. He doesn't even know any of us. We weren't doing anything to judge him. It's like you started talking loudly in the library, anybody's going to look when you do that. It took a few more minutes before one of the head staff came and talked to him and he leaned back so that he could see down the row that we were standing looking at books and proceeded to call us both fat whores and sluts and hookers. I just stood biting my tongue the whole time because it wasn't worth saying anything back to him. Then he said, you will never have nice children. Really? Really? He proceeded to call me a fat slut and a whale and everything else under the sun. As he was walking away, I just said, have a nice day and left it at that. I know that was a rather passive aggressive thing to do. I've learned over the past few years that people that are bullying and picking on other people, they're usually doing it because it's either something about that person that they don't like about themselves or something that person has that they don't. He seemed to focus on our weight so much, maybe he's unhappy with his body. The bottom line is this, I do not stand for people bullying other people. So if you think that you're gonna say something rude to somebody, especially when I'm around, I'm either gonna come to your face and tell you that what you said is not very nice in a very polite way, or I'm going to go to whatever head there is whether that's like security or a manager or whatever because you just you can't do that you cannot be rude and disrespectful to people it took me a long time to learn the lesson of you know why bullies kind of do what they do but a lot of people don't get that a lot of people don't understand it and if you're saying these hurtful things if you're picking their character apart and you know especially if you're hitting on something that's already an issue in their eyes about themselves you know you're going to trigger them they're going to perhaps cause an outcome that you did not mean to have happen it is so easy to be nice to people you know even if you're having a bad day don't let your mood influence your manners you should still be nice you should still you know take a deep breath if you need to if you're getting frustrated with something i had to learn how to do that quite a few times i mean this job has taught me so much more patience than i ever knew that i would ever have i still get a little irked if somebody pulls out in front of me and almost hits me but you know anybody would i want to know if you guys have been in any situations where you've been bullied because i know that i have and not just today it's happened quite a few times in my life leave me a little story down below about what happened um how you handled it if you've been in a situation like i was today where somebody was making fun of somebody that was with you or saying rude things and what you did to solve that problem. All right, guys, I'm going to head on out and go play some Pokemon Go. Yes, I'm still playing it. I get to play a game and I get to get some exercise, so I might as well do it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week for what I did this weekend.